Here we go. The first episode of Renegades, Outlaws, and Gypsies. We've been called Renegades, Outlaws, and Gypsies. Yeah, we're just chasing the white line. Hey, just looking for a good time. The black top or a dirt road. A honky tonk. A fishing hole. Yeah, will you see us again? You never know. But thank God we're on the road. It's video. Oh it's my video. goodness, oh. Josh! I'm getting, I'm getting him talking. So when we left for the run in California, uh, we took Marvy here. Marvy's a '79 Dodge Chinook. Call him Marvy, cause my RV. <laughs> Anyways, Marvy Dark Horse. We're just waking up. We left last night uh, for our California and back tour. River. The girls are mad cause they have to do their morning drink one water bottle before they do anything else and we slept <clears throat> in a beautiful four-star parking lot of Wally World we're headed through Oklahoma we're going through Texas through Amarillo and all that today we should be in New Mexico tonight or this evening hopefully so we can hang out and Check everything out at the Mine Shaft Tavern. You can't blame the outlaws. Not when you're pushing for a fight. You can't blame the outlaws. You try and hold them down, and you just might. Yeah, I said I find out the hard way that a you. Badlands of New Mexico. Not very entertaining here. Music would play and Felina would whirl. <laughs> Wild is the West Texas wind. And daring a drink he was sharing with wicked Felina, the girl that I love. So in anger, I challenged his right for love of the maiden. <laughs> we are in New Mexico, headed to Madrid. Look, off in the wild blue yonder. To the bad land of New Mexico. I was laying on the ground. Dreamer! Come on, Dreamer. 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 So unfortunately we did not make it a day early to Madrid, New Mexico. I had to change uh, 
fuel pump on the side of the on-ramp on the freeway, which was not fun. It was burning hot on that pavement. Uh, we also changed, had to, get, had to change the electronic ignition in an O'Reilly's parking lot. Uh, and then we finally made it there uh, about an hour before the show. <laughs> so as we pull up to uh, Madrid, New Mexico, uh, our ride, Marvy decides he's not going no further and uh, breaks down in the middle of the road right outside of the venue. Everybody's watching. And uh, I'm trying to pull up this hip, big, huge hill to load in. And uh, middle of the street, middle of the day, I have to get an aluminum beer can and crawl under there, unhook the fuel line, get a little fuel in the can so I can prime it through the carburetor just to get it started. It's a total wreck. I'm supposed to play in an hour. Finally got Marvy started, pulled up this hill, uh, loaded in through the sand and, and everything, uh, through this really rough rock, and uh, it was a it's hard load in. Got, finally got set up, was stressed out, had the gas on me, had, it was just a mess. Planned on being there a day early to check it out. End up getting there an hour before and breaking down, so not going well for the first show. And uh, start playing and I'm just, I don't even care, I'm just playing some of my songs, whatever. They like it, they like it, if they don't, they don't. And uh, Luckily, everybody there was super awesome. Every the crowd, the the people, uh, the workers, everybody was awesome. And so, uh, played the show. So everybody bought merch. It was just great. After I got done playing, uh, we met a cool cat named Lance. He showed us around the museum that isn't even open to the public anymore, and it's got all this crazy awesome stuff in it. Uh, I mean, the addict like three addictive phones that Thomas Edison brought down himself when it was the town was booming uh, Babe Ruth and all of them used to go down there and play uh, baseball with the Madrid miners they got these old gloves old cars old everything in this uh, in this museum and uh, Lance was cool enough to unlock it and take us around after the show it was just it was killer like I said we were still thinking about you know trying to get Marvy started to get the the rest of the tour. I mean, this is our first show. As we're standing around talking about it, uh, some great people, Allison and uh, and Henry, come up and said, "Hey, here's our phone number. You know, if y'all have any trouble when you leave, you break down, uh, give us give us a call. We'll come do whatever we can do. Pick you up, take you somewhere, do whatever." So that was really cool, you know, for them to offer that up and and uh, if we needed any help. So uh, appreciate you guys. Thanks to Monica for even booking the mine shaft. We're already trying to work out a date to go back there. It's a great place. Little Nelson. Don't take this the wrong way, but I love me some Willie. <laughs>
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear River. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday, Tom. Thank you. So, uh, as we pull up into Tombstone, Arizona, it's exactly like we hoped. You know, it's a killer little old western town that uh, takes you back in time. Heather was working and she was super sweet and helped us out, get us parked, and load in, merch, everything wherever we wanted. And the show was, uh, the crowd was awesome. I mean, everybody was into it. Couldn't have been any better. And then night we met Bill and Karen McGowan and they were nice enough to, uh, to invite us back to their house to plug Marvy in, which they only lived a couple blocks from the Crystal Palace. We made some good friends with those folks. Appreciate you, Bill and Karen. Yes, she is my She got curves that any boy loved to drive his hot wheel down. And it's a smooth highway, boy, when you're headed south. Yeah, that girl got something I just can't explain. site right here and then there's Chris and this is Tombstone at night she walked in singing country music's giving me the blues before that murder on music road country music sang a different tune yes it did and you know those old honky tonks with Hank Maul on them sad songs. And hell, the record exact say that's not what we want, but like old Whalen said, wrong. Cause I miss country when Merle Haggard sang. And I miss two step and honky tonk bars and western swing. And although country, not all I'm into What they're playing on the radio Gives me the blues And I bought a house Down a dirt road But they paved it now And in my backyard There's a trailer park Well I'm sitting on the front porch so we pulled up at uh, Roosters in Mesa, Arizona after leaving Tombstone. We hit the nail on the head again. We'd been really looking forward to that place. And uh, it turned out great. Steve and uh, uh, Sherry uh, were awesome. And uh, the, all the staff there was great. Dave, my buddy at Little Mesa Cafe, uh, he hooked us up with some breakfast for one dollar the next morning, uh, my whole family. And uh, we just had a ball. He's down in the corner. With suitcases 
his hand. He's trying so hard to leave her, but he can't. Cause there's no one on the dresser, and it's signed by another man. It says, I'll meet you there on Sunday if I can. Christiane swears a ghost pushed that speaker off the stand. <laughs> Arizona, we had to stop by and uh, pay our respects to Waylon Jennings at his gravesite. We all love Waylon in our family. Uh, my girls even play some Waylon Jennings songs. So uh, it was a very intense and moving moment for us. He's waiting on the outlaws. Tell me why they're the only ones that last. Yeah. And blaming on the outlaws. Willie Waylon. Yeah. Keep it 
through the night from Arizona to California got to Joshua Tree to Pioneer Town California uh, to my buddy Spanky and uh, Nancy's house uh, and it was just killer it was built in like the mid 40s for all the Western movies for Gene Autry Roy Rogers and all those cats uh, a million movies were filmed there you got to check out this book there's a cool book on the town and uh, my buddy Spanky's actually in a photo in the in the book at his house uh, it was awesome uh, they cooked us up some good food. Appreciate you, Spanky and Nancy, for all the hospitality, pal. I said, hey there, pretty mama, put your hands up and shake off them blues. I just wrote Across the country just to get what you country girls do. Yeah. Better call up all your friends and let them know there's a party tonight. Wayne Mills is cranked up in the bus if you're leaving the ride. <laughs> With these little towns all across the USA, I'm spending most of my life on the interstate. Stay all night I'm just cruising through Atlanta With the radio jamming It's alright Shake it up, squeeze the lime Lick the salt, girl, you look so fine A brown bottle in my hand That's a country man living the good life We left Joshua Tree in the middle of the night and headed straight to Sunset Beach to Mother's Tavern to make sure we get us a parking spot. Yeah. And where I might be. So tonight we'll be rolling right up in your town. And if you came here to party, then shout, shout, shout. All right. Can we stay on? Mother's Tavern was awesome. Allison and Jay were just super awesome. Uh, made us feel right at home. Helped out with anything. I hadn't even played yet and Allison volunteered to let us use her car to go downtown so that's how nice they were. We had a really great crowd. They was really into all the music and uh, bought a lot of merch to help support. The girls finally got to see the ocean and the west coast beaches and they were able to pick up some west coast sand and shells for my mom which they never got to do before she passed so it was an awesome, awesome trip. <laughs>
walk in there when nobody's in there and just walk in and go, this ain't funny. <laughs> so, I also got a movie right I just wrote that I'm putting out. I've, I've no. kind of got been, oh, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio, dude, he wants to be in it. He's going to be the, uh, my uh, co-star <laughs> in the movie I'm writing that uh, I wrote the soundtrack. I'm a uh, this and that. But anyways, that's why I'm working as a, a waiter right now. I'm uh, working on a role. I'm a singer too. I, I write songs down at Songs Publishing <laughs> on Sunset. <laughs> I just haven't found the role that fits me yet. Turn right. I'm a comedian too. I do some stuff over here at the comedy store on the on Sunday open mic. And I dance too. This dude over here don't know how to dance. I can dance. I got my own dance studio. See him. He, he's good. My moves are way better than that. He's a good couple. He's got a couple <laughs> good little footwork and stuff. But you know, when my movie, you know, I'm gonna be. It's, it's gonna change the game. <laughs> They'll probably have to move. They'll probably have to change the name of this town to my last name. Go slow right here, Josh. Like super slow, if you can. Super slow. And I'm an actor. All I do is drive fast. I got places to be. <laughs> I ain't got time to let other vehicles out shit. <laughs> Look at me. Watch out, dude. You know you are in California because I'll bust your door off. <laughs> I don't put up with the people trying to do stuff in my way. <laughs> what? You crazy? He's a big movie star. He's not the funniest as so we are no, but that's a bad one. When I play there, I, 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 I park right in the front of the building. I mean, they just put them up. They put the cones out and stuff when I play there. <laughs> I just park right there in front of the building. What do these signs say? No stopping. <laughs> <laughs> Deanna, Abrana, <laughs> Bobana, Fofana, Susanna, Rosanna. I'm gonna park in the front of the whiskey. Check it out. No big black Dodge parking. Don't you know I'm a movie star? You're trying to get up there, my trying to get on my scene. You are not in the script. Not in the script? Huh? Is that the script I was given? Huh? Is that the script we gave to me? Ah! Bullshit, bullshit, my line! Bullshit, bullshit, my line! Ah, it's funny! <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious! <laughs> <laughs> well, first thing you know, just a minute there. <laughs> Ken folks said, Jed, move away from there! said, California is the place you ought to be, so they loaded up the truck and they moved to Beverly Hills, that is. You're gonna find out the hard way that you're losing me. You're gonna find when I up and leave All the days you told me You'd be there for me And when the night rolls around You hit the streets I don't know how to tell you But I'm leaving How many of you sit and judge me? Then the destination is on your right Never walk the streets of Baker <laughs> this is me in Bakersfield. <laughs> On Buck Owens Avenue. Boulevard. 
Walking through this winter snow Showing off what everybody knows I'm lonely You finally found another life You had to make it to the sky But without me Do you recall when all of life was so sweet? And now that I know when summer turns cold. Along for the winter Of course, I couldn't not play any Buck Owens in Bakersfield, right? Cause all I gotta do is act naturally Well, I bet you I'm gonna be a big star Might win an Oscar, you can't never tell The movies are gonna make me a big star Cause I can play the part so well Then I know that you will plainly see The biggest fool who ever hit the big time And all I gotta do is act naturally So after the Bakersfield show, we decided to uh, stay an extra day and camp out there by the Kern River. I'll never swim Kern River again. <laughs> All the songs are the same To the music of a horse with no name I'm in the desert So I thought of Greg Green Now I'm singing it to a horse with no name Singing la 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 Sing it girls La 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 This is us in uh, Morro Bay, California. Point 
darkest depths of Mordor comes a legend, king of sorts, and a big black dinosaur is coming to terrorize the neighborhood and take down the castle. Two towers narrated by me, not you, Sky. And we couldn't cross because we might sink. No, we will not sink. Because I am the narrator and I am as light as a feather. I can walk on top of the water. Now we zoom in from another angle down to the river of Goliath. And here comes Sabbath to terrorize the castle of Mordor. The castle has been drained of drinking water and Mordor has called on a giant to, to, to help and he may crush the castle. Oh, he saved the castle's life. He spared the castle just one time, but now he is after the narrative. Now he's drinking all of the water in Mordor. The, the, the devil Sabbath has returned to crush the castle. Oh, again, he spared the castle. Somehow, sabotage. Sabotage. Watch out, don't. You're a bad actor. Come on, Sam. He crushes that castle. Mm, get some castle. Get him. Hey, he looks. And still, the dragon leaves and gets his attention on a blue dragon. Dragon running across the beach, and the black salmon wants to give chase, but he is summoned by his master to descend, descend back to the castles of Mordor. There, he returns to Mordor to protect and serve and drink the rest of the water to keep the castle from being buried. No, no, Sam, over here. The end. This is us with this little crow hanging out. I want one as a pet. Let's run for the lives? What are they gonna do with a shark? Go tell it to leave? Smack it on the nose? No. Eat it? No. <laughs> what are they gonna do with it? Twist his tail? No. I'll tell you what they would do. They would put it in a net, soft net, and release it free back into the wild. Why would they put it in the net then? If they're 
they're gonna then they just they would just be eating somebody else. No, they would clear out the beach first. Okay. Well, I just woke up and looked down to the river And my lady's down there bathing in the stream She's washing off the love we made in the moonlight And I'm just glad to know I didn't have a dream Cause she turned on her charm there by the campfire and I never could resist the way she moved. This is me. This is me peeing in Redwood. Redwood National Forest. National State Park. Marking my territory. Keep it crumb clean, Josh. There were no crumbs. <laughs> Away your tears. She said you haven't tried to do it yet. And I miss those crazy days like when we first met. Talking about the flowers and the wine, the sunsets and the moonlight. She said it clears my mind. The flowers. Drift away, drift away, drift away, and we take our chances to love another day. But just because we started settling down, doesn't mean we can't have a night on the town with a little flowers and wine. The ride back out of there. Scared the holy out of Christiane. Uh, she couldn't hardly even do nothing. She was crying, trying to go up this hill. It's a one-way road. It was fantastic. There are the mountains. That is the cloud. Looks like it's just we were driving easy. around in, trying to get it's down not. from. Okay. I did not yak it. We weren't we trying to get down. We were life and death situation. Oh, you're right. Trying to get out of the traffic. To get in San Francisco okay. rush hour traffic. That's what we're trying to do. <laughs> this is me in a tunnel about to go across the Golden Gate Bridge. Drawings of Metallica 
on the walls. Y'all get it. Everybody else. Everybody else. So when we got to Sonora, California, it was crazy. There was a little town we didn't even know about called Columbia, California, which some people probably know about it. But we did not, and it's a killer western town, Old West. The state had bought the town up, and it was just a very welcome surprise for us. We spent a whole day there, and we didn't even know we were going to do something like that. Walking down this road and I'm not lost, I'm found Yeah, my girl, she picks me up when I am down She said that life is just an invitation I think that heaven is her conversation If I'm smiling, you can blame it on my girl if I'm smiling, you can blame it on my girl. Yeah. Christy Ann is going to try to bowl a strike from early 18, or late 1800s bowling alley. Here we go. It was 20 years later, nearly to the day Old preacher came calling on Charlie Wayne With his Bible He said, you're an old man now, you better listen to me Know what you did, and it's time to come clean There's a reason you ain't seen those two around here. And After that, we made a beeline straight up north, higher up into the mountains, uh, up to Loch Lomond, California. Loch Lomond, California, they say it. At the Loch Lomond Roadhouse, and it was a blast. My buddy Max hooked that gig up for me and took care of us. Jenny, her pops, and everybody at the Roadhouse was just awesome. Also, thanks to Max and Elaine for hooking us up with some blueberry pancakes and big breakfast uh, the next morning. It was a great. Tell her, get yourself to me all night long, all night long. 
this video <laughs> hold on wait I'm gonna take a picture walking through this winter snow showing off what everybody knows I'm lonely you finally found another life you had to make it to the sky but without me Do you recall When all of life was So sweet And now that I know When summer Is us in Vail, Colorado. And out there is a ski slope. See that? Right up there. Looks little by my finger, but this is very big. Coming down this ski slope over here is River and Christiane. We stole your phone. <laughs>
Hey, mister, you can keep your cards. You can keep your beer and your money over there. Or else we're going to get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs>
Oh yeah, this is me in Arkansas. <laughs> Yeah, we're just chasing the white line Hey, just looking for a good time The black top or a dirt road A honky-tonk or a fishing hole Yeah, will you see us again? You never know But thank God we're on the road Yeah, we spent a lot of time Riding on a dark horse Spinning our wheels Living in the here and now Yeah, we burn up the highway Like a freight train Just running from town to town Yeah, yeah We know a few folks are Living their lives the same way Writing our songs, spreading them all around You'll find us with a guitar by a campfire Just a picking when the sun goes down That's right Cause we've been called renegades Outlaws and gypsies Yeah, we're just chasing the white line for a good time The black top or a dirt road A honky-tonk or a fishing hole Hey, will you see us again? You never know